just told you what a vector was. There are three parts to a vector. A point. More precisely, the initial point. Another point. The terminal point. And the magnitude. A vector is something with magnitude and direction. Magnitude can be measured in speed or distance. Direction is measured by direction. <laughs> Pat, 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 but the math guy. Oh. Parallel vectors are vectors that go in the same direction but are not necessarily the same magnitude. So, uh, vector A is 5 meters, vector B is 12 meters, and vector C is 2 meters, but they, all, they are all parallel vectors. Good job, Pat. Pat, 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 the math guy. What time is it? Math time! Opposite vectors are vectors with the same magnitude in different directions. A goes 6 miles per hour this way, or B goes 6 miles per hour this way, so they're opposite. Pat Math, the bath guy. <laughs> Equivalent vectors are vectors with both the same magnitude and direction. All three of these vectors are six miles per hour, and they are all going this way. Good job, Pat. Adding vectors. A, B. There are two ways to add vectors. Head, tail, to head, tail, or the parallelogram method. Let's start with head to tail. Draw A and take the head of B and put it at the tail of A. And then draw a point from the head of A to the tail of B and you have C. A plus B. For the parallelogram method, draw A, draw B from the same point, and complete the parallelogram. Then draw from your start point to the opposite corner, and you have C. A plus B. Subtracting vectors. <laughs> to subtract vectors, there is only one method, the head to tail. Take A, redraw it, and add B, where it ends. Draw from your initial point A, end of B, and you have A minus B. You can substitute numbers in for those, make A equal to 3x and b equal to negative 3 fourths y. So then ab is equal to 3x minus 3 fourths y. What time is it? With who? Matt, Matt, the math guy. Earlier in the video, you saw this. Okay, so you saw this truck head due north at let's say 60 miles an hour. This is an example of how a vector can be applied to real life. You can use it to use it to 
find direction. Introducing vectors in real life. What are vectors used for? This is a river. The river is going this way at 20 knots an hour. It's upside down. Dalton, or Pat, Pat, the math guy, is right here. He wants to go here. Give me my muscles. I give him big muscles. Yeah. He wants to go there. But Pat Bath, the math guy, is a bad swimmer. He only goes five knots an hour. If we factor in the current with Pat Bath, the math guy, swimming, he goes five knots in an hour. And this is five knots the width. But 20 knots is what the river is flowing. 20 knots puts him right there. Add that in. After one hour, he has made it there. Who do you guys want to see? Pat Bath, the math guy. This is America. Let's say you're in an airplane. You're starting in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Cowboys. Yeah, that's an airplane. Airplane too. Okay. And you're flying Seattle. Seattle. If you go in a straight line, you would go here. That's and not very let's straight. Say, let's say this is 150 miles. Now, your pilot would know that the wind. You're looking at it, folks. 150 miles right on your television. Now, your pilot would know that the wind is blowing 10 miles per hour this way. So, to correct for that, he would have to adjust. He would have to adjust the flight plan to go here and the wind would end you up going here. This is another example of vector. Problem. Hey, kids. Pat, 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 Pat. <laughs> that was Pat Bath, the math guy. He's here all week. Thanks for joining us on Pat Bath, the math guy on Vectors. Join us next week for, oh boy, Subtraction with Pat Bath, the math guy. Tune in on NBC every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at four o'clock. Thank you.